Uh, the parts needed to make a 12 quart water purification system with a pair of 12 quart pots. I'm using our IM USA's. You're going to need a pair of water filters, like the Black Berkeley's, and a water spigot. Tools that you're going to need you're going to need a drill, a grinder, a finishing tool. and a cutoff wheel. If you're not familiar with a cutoff wheel, you do not want to use that. Those are very dangerous. If they come apart, they're flying at 3,000 feet per second, which will hurt you very badly. And you're going to need some sealant. Dynaflex 230 by DAP is a good one. Alright, first step that you want to do, you want to make sure that you have a flat Leave that goes on your pot. You want to lay it out to cut the center section out. But you got it marked. You want to clamp it down to something secure because you're going to be using that grinder. pot that you're going to use for your, for your upper portion of your pear farm, fill it with water for some weight. You're going to take your lid that you cut the hole out of and run the of silicone all the way around. This right here, you want to make sure that your lid is sitting on something flat. Alright. Just glue that on there. You want to take your piece that you cut it out, put it on your bottom part. That way you're keeping your shape that you want. You take a pot full of water. Just set it down right on the top of that silicone. Let that sit overnight. And we'll finish it up. Alright, we're back on day number two. We got our pot emptied and dried out. Now it's time to lay out our holes to drill to insert our filters. I'm going to lay my holes out, cross center line, approximately two inches from center on each side, in the center.
took to mark my step drill with a marker the depth I want to go to for my, my filters insert. to the fit in there not, not too loose so you that your o-ring that we're going to put on the bottom and seal on the inside of your pot At this point we want to take this pot and put it to the side. We're going to install the filters later after we get the filters all primed up and ready to go. And next we're going to grab the other pot to install the spigot. Pick it out so that you have enough clearance and when you tighten it down to the bottom of the pot that you're going to have a good seal so your water doesn't leak out. When it's all on the spigot, you want to take your rubber gasket, wedge side pointing out. You want to screw your spigot in the side of the pot. Jam that on the inside. You only want this tight enough for it to seal on the rubber gasket. Time to test for leaks. Before installing your, your filters onto your top pot, you want to take the nut that came with the wing nut and put it on your filter upside down. So you have your flat side out. Screw it on there just a little bit. And you should have a rubber, rubber washer that should slip right over the top of it. So it stays in place. You want to run it through your sink water. Slowly, until it fills up. It starts sweating from the outside. Once 
that done, take your rubber gasket off, remove the wing nut. You want to take your bottom part, install your filter. As you see, there's a I installed a rubber oil ring to seal it from the inside to give me the extra clearance that I'm going to need on the top. On the outside, taking the rubber gas that it came with it, placing it on the outside just to help seal everything. Install the wing nut. When you tighten this down, you want to hold the inside by the plastic ring on the inside, not the filter. You want to snug it down just enough that it seals. Repeat the step for the other side. All right, to test the system, you want to take your red food coloring, put it in your jug of water. Dump your gallon of water with the red full color in your top pot. And you just want to let that set and run through the system. If you end up with any red down the bottom pot, then you have a leak on the top and you got to start over. Time for the big test to see how this works or not. Oh, look at that. Crystal clear. I'm gonna put that next to the water that come through. And there you go, boys and girls. We removed all the dye, see how she tastes. Oh, là c'est bon. That's what we're talking about.